If I wasn't an athlete, I'd probably be doing something really manual. It's really satisfying to see a piece of rock come to life into a climb, to see something get upgraded and remodeled and become as safe as it possibly can be. There's a caretaking that needs to happen now with old roots. Hardware is rusting, hardware is breaking down. I started bolting an extension in the compound because uh, I always looked at like that head wall and wondered if you could climb up. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. And it's this old Jeff Pedersen root called Cracker. A lot of older generation roots need to be updated with um, all this new technology and modern hardware that we have that's been created in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Man, so pretty. You can actually see the, like the white tat anchor at the oh, top. Oh yeah. Really sustained climbing for like two thirds of the extension. Oh dang. At the outset, it was just the idea of taking like a more active and intentional role with helping younger climbers understand equipment and manual labor, blue collar side of creating rock climbs outside. There's like a card in my backpack that has all the knots. <laughs> I got all the knots here. You want to try yourself? All right, which one are you looking for again? Inspect it, you tell me. That looks good. I should have just tied a figure eight, I think. Yeah, I got that one too. <laughs> we just want, really want to make sure that everything can be safe as possible and bolins have a tendency to untie themselves. Sometimes, a little FYI. So we're gonna do a figure eight follow through knot so that everybody is safe. Including the camera guys. Especially the camera guys. I mean, I guess I've known Noah for like the entirety of the time I lived in Salt Lake, which was 10 years. <laughs> Sam's like my mean older uncle or older brother or something, but in a very loving way. <laughs> it wasn't until like the last like three, four years, I think maybe, that Noah made climbing his own thing. For me, uh, climbing indoors is kind of like, I mean, I do it for work right now. So it's, I kind of view it as work. And then even with training, I view it as more of like a preparation to go outside. Most of the time, the gym is kind of like a tool and it's, it's fun, but I think going outside is like, I don't know, it's just better for the soul. I mean, do you know like the lifespan of like an ex expansion bolt? Aren't a lot of them like different? different time periods based on whatever metal it is or yeah exactly like 10 20 years maybe they, they can last a lot longer in a super dry climate if it's fully yeah. stainless steel yeah it makes but sense. you know they can also be completely rusted out and like moving around or pull out of the wall in like 10 years if it's a wet climate or wet rock yeah this crag i mean it's like 20 25 years old um not the best rock typically like when you do glue-ins it's like I mean, they say for life. At a certain point, every single expansion bolt on planet Earth probably will become a glue-in bolt. So I would come over here for right now, Noah. Can you hear the difference? And you want it to just go straight? Yeah, straight in. Let's see, we said six more. Good job, dude. Right, we did more than I thought we were gonna do. If you're like feeling it, wow. you can go drill those five holes. You know what to do now. The first day we spent probably like eight hours on the rope in the harness. A pretty, pretty stressful overall event. So it's definitely the sleeve is really rotten and rusted. A 
I guess I'm just gonna go up and see if all the new bolt placements are in good spot and make sure that the glue is totally cured. So I'll just kind of go in sections and kind of take my time. What do you think, Sam? Could be better, could be worse. It felt pretty good, actually. Better than I thought it was going to feel. Nice. No, man. It would suck to climb the whole thing and then slip off the 510 top because it's just soaking wet. I mean, Maple in itself is a very weird climbing area. Like, you just get pumped really fast there because you don't know what the next holds are going to be, especially like your Come first on, run on a route. <laughs> Woo! I thought you were going to come. <laughs> yeah, because you're making me fucking laugh. <laughs> that transition's pretty hard. It's kind of like looking at a spray wall if like every hold was the same color and you can't see the end cut of the hold. It's just like kind of like, oh, that might be good. And then sometimes it's a bucket or it's just like nothing. Yeah, that's it. Get over right, get over right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice dude. There's a knee bar in there. Right knee bar if you want to plug it. Down, it's down. All right, you can take. Good job, man. Ugh. That's cryptic. Yeah, it's a lot of fucking shenanigans. With a new route like this, I mean, there's like a little bit of chalk on like kind of white holds, so it's like really hard to see that. It's super tricky. It's a really weird climbing area. Pretty much the same thing as like going and cleaning the landing on a boulder or something. Like it's not fun when you're doing it, but then you like finish it and you look at it and then you like give it a try on your climb and you're like, okay, that was worth it. It's really tiring and a lot more work and you don't get to climb as hard as you wanted to, but the overall experience of doing the climb is gonna be way better and safer. Good job, dude. He's just a naturally, and I mean, very good rope climber. If it was on boulders, <laughs> I, think, I think I could give Sam a run for his money. <laughs> what do you think you're gonna put this one at? The extension? I thought I'd see. I don't know. I want to call it D, but I, I, I'd rather call it C and have it end up at D. I, then maybe if it's D, then more people will try it. I don't know. I don't, I don't really care. I'm glad the ice wind stopped. There's just a satisfaction in, in like a job well done and doing good, honest, simple, hard work. Japanese art form of taking like a broken ceramic vessel and using a metal like gold to like glue the broken pieces back together. I, I feel like a lot of like, personal connection to the idea of being like a flawed human being but still be able to provide value in, into the world. <laughs>
It's wet up here, Noah, so I'm just gonna take my time. Could I have done better or put a bolt in a better spot or? Sure, but we just are all out here sort of perfectly imperfect. And, and that's what I think is about that art form of Kintsugi. It's just like, this thing's perfectly imperfect. Thank you.